decor looking nice around you. Well then, time for a stroll around the Walton Contemporary Art Gallery with Peter Buckley Hill and the lovely Sarah Stewart. Some people can get very enthusiastic about furniture. And then again, some people are less enthusiastic. I'm one of the ones who's less enthusiastic about furniture. Or rather, I was, until recently. Now, this is what I call an interesting piece of furniture. Observe. Lovely bits, bright colours and interesting things written on the seat. If life gives you lemons, say, hey, I refuse to accept them. And on the back. A dormant brain spells a dull life. And it's made and designed by someone who's no stranger to WMTV, Sarah Stewart. <laughs> Sarah, are you an artist, a painter, a designer, a furniture maker, or what are you? Well, basically, um, I'm first and foremost a painter. Um, I do quite different sort of paintings, sort of 3D construction type of things, and I think that's how I got into doing the furniture, because I like so much the sort of three-dimensionality of all of it. You're an American, you've exhibited in Spain, and now you're working here in Chelsea. What was it that brought you from the new world to the old? Well, because, um, well, I'm from Mississippi, which, um, mm -hmm. which is wonderful, but it's hardly the artistic mecca. So I don't know, so I just came here. I was living in New York for a while, and then I just, um, I studied here, and, um, and I just stayed. Sarah, who buys this work? Well, it's, it's quite a cross-section. I have, um, it's hard to pinpoint, but I think if, if one had to, I would say um, it's usually the people who have quite sort of unusual homes. A lot of... Um, People may be in music or film, that type of thing, and people who buy them um, for summer homes where it's, where it's quite sunny. And then your random sort of person who buys them and I guess shoves them with a bunch of sort of English antiques, I don't know. Michael Potter, you're not only an artist yourself, but also a director of the Walton Gallery here, yes? Um, this is quite an unusual gallery, isn't it? Yes, it is, Peter. It uh, tends to act as a focal point for the various creative activities within the building. And we supply a service here to interior designers uh, who come specifically to look for bespoke furniture and for contemporary art. It tends to spread its discipline over the corporate interior design market as well as the residential one. There's a community of artists that work here, as you said. Can you tell me something about them? Yes, certainly. There's um, a number of artists that are working in the building, um, interior designers and specialist furniture manufacturers. Uh, Sarah's work is, uh, as you see on the wall here, is some of the pieces that have been brought down in order to add um, a more contemporary and modern flavour um, to uh, various design projects that uh, often come through the door. Alison Rivano, you're an art collector and you've actually bought some of Sarah Stewart's work. What do you like about it? I love Sarah's paintings. I have two of them at home and this is my newest edition. And I love the colours. I think it has a lot of vitality and a lot of movement. And it just has this happy feeling to it that makes, draws the eye to it. You're a collector, so presumably you just don't collect things because you like them. Yes, well, I think that uh, Sarah's paintings are a very good investment. I think that uh, the 
art that's been around for the last few years has been quite minimalist, quite deconstructionist. I think that people are ready for some nice color, something that's really pleasing to the eye, that makes you feel good. So you expect the future of art to stay with the colorful and not to go back to gray pieces? No, um, I don't think that the grunge art movement is going to stay around much longer. I think that people want to see colors and things that make them feel really good. You collect, obviously, wall pieces. What about the furniture that we've seen? Uh, I love the furniture, but I think with Sarah's wall pieces, they have um, a three-dimensional effect with the paper construction and the canvas, and even the box of the frame gives it more of a sculptural quality than just something that's flat on the wall. So I think that even the paintings have quite a furniture-like quality to them. As a child, Sarah started off by painting everything she could find around her parents' house. The hairdryer, the bathroom mirror, and various other pieces of bathroom furniture. At the age of four, she painted the word house on her house. When she turned her attention to things that annoyed her parents a little less, she studied in Mississippi and then came to Richmond College in southwest London, where the river's a little less muddy. She tried to combine painting and interior design, and her painted furniture is very much the result of that. She exhibited her work in London, Spain, and in her native USA. Among her satisfied customers is one up-and-coming rhythm and blues musician called uh, Michael Jagger. Being an artist is about the trickiest profession in the world. I mean, you know, when I first told my parents I wanted to be a painter, I think they would have been happier had I said I wanted to be a, a rock star or a movie star. Um, it is quite difficult. But it's the type of thing, you know, if you really pursue it and if you're doing something that's quite different, um, you know, it, it can, you know, if you have the luck, it can, it can be quite interesting. So there we have it, the Walton Contemporary Art Gallery and a special feature on the work of Sarah Stewart. Regular viewers will know that one of Sarah's other things is that she is a presenter for WMTV itself. It's nice to know that not only are we on the same wavelength, but we're also on the same channel. That's Channel 7, and that's the studio we're going back to. Hmm. And our thanks to the Walton Contemporary Art Gallery and love some of those designs. Now, how would you like to win £500? Got your attention now? Well, Storyteller is the quarterly magazine and is inviting readers to enter their free writing competition with a chance to win £500. Now, Michael Piercy joins me from Storyteller. Michael, thank you very much Hello. indeed. Yeah. First of all, tell us about the publication Storyteller. What is it? Well, it's a collection of mainly short fiction. I think you've got a copy there. Um, published in Slough, it's quarterly, A4 in format. We've got um, 20 authors in there mm -hmm. and the, the thing about our magazine it's our second issue and what we aim to do we, we, we use a little phrase and we say it's a magazine without walls and we encourage people to write for us uh, with no restrictions whatsoever on length or subject or style and we're open to any kind of submission from anybody. Now, 